Make sure you like. Like. Make comment, sure you share. share that. And hit that what? All right. So make sure you do all those things. You want to say anything else? Hello, 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 my vibrations and my co-creators from the Co-Creating Your Reality website. It is V to the I to the B to the mother of four E. And yes, I am here with day one of my season 17 of my 100 day reality challenge. So for this 100 days, I plan on recording a video every day just explaining how I use the law of attraction in my life throughout that day. Today, I woke up early because I had to, um, I took on two new classes in Pottstown. So I teach five days a week cycle class. So I had to wake up early because it's an hour drive. And I woke up, I felt really good, and I meditated for about 10 minutes really really was just thinking about my intentions for this season and um, what I want to accomplish and I went back and watched my day one of my uh, 100 day reality challenge when I first first started which was on May 17th I mean March 17th of 2008 and I went back and watched that video to see like to compare where I am now and Surprising enough, in that video, I'm, I was still working on not biting my fingernails. Now, that is one thing that I have accomplished. It's just like a coping mechanism. You know, some people smoke cigarettes and stuff and do that. I bite my fingernails. That's my stress. I, I bite my fingernails and I emotionally eat. So, those are two things that are... I My intentions are to figure out the triggers and work with them to see what other things I can do than biting my fingernails or emotionally eating. Now, today has went it went went really good because I've just been quiet today. Today has just been like observing. I've been observing uh how I've been feeling today and I've been observing how some things can upset me and what those things are and thinking about why they would have why they would have upset me. I've been journaling a lot today too. Well, not a lot. I journaled just so that I
keep fresh things that I want to remember about today because today has been really calm. It's been really quiet. Like I've been really, 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 really paying attention to my surroundings and how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking about. And I'm getting some revelations, getting some revelations and just this hundred days is going to be a really, really big challenge of applying the law of attraction because the things that I want to attract are more of a <clears throat> not physical. They're not physical things that I would like to attract. And I'll get into more of those. And I am excited about doing my vision board, which I have my vision board all made up. It's all made up. I have all the cuttings put out. I just have to glue them onto. Why would you do that? Glue them. Or why would you? Why would you even? Why would you wait to get over? Like, I have to glue them onto my um, poster board because I have everything all cut out and put them up and put them where I want the pieces to go. So if you are interested in doing a vision board, we can have a virtual vision board party. Now what I do is just, I just have a lot of old magazines and I go through the magazines and I cut things out that I like or you can find pictures anywhere or words anywhere. I find that Oprah's magazines are always the best for that. I need to get back up on my subscription. What um, was about the 100 day reality challenge? I have not watched The Secret in a long, 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 long time. I am not the same naive person person that I was back then a lot a lot of things have went on in my life and a lot of things have changed and I've grown up I've grown up and I'm more comfortable with who I am and I'm just now that my kids are grow are grown and they're doing their own thing I get to focus on me and it's like what who is me you know what I mean? I found fitness. Fitness is, is my go-to. And I love teaching spin. And I mean, I know I make, it, I make an impact because I'm told every day. Well, not every day, but every time I teach a class, I'm told how, how much I've helped. So I know I'm making an impact. And I want to help more. And I know it's through sharing my certain experiences. So, that is this season. That is this season. This season I really titled Queen, Check Yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Because I need to know. I need to know <clears throat> what's going to be happening with me in the next year. I not need to know, but I'm a goal kind of person goals and I have want to lose about 30 pounds so that I put on emotional weight I tell you we carry emotions <clears throat> and so it's really good for us to every once in a while take that time out and go into that spiritual part of ourselves and it doesn't even have to include like religion it just spiritual because I don't have a religion. I'm I'm a spiritual person. I do believe in God. I do believe there's a higher power. I do believe there's of course why not? I my child was born dead. He was dead for eleven minutes. Yeah, eleven minutes. He did not take his first gasp of air until he was eleven minutes old. So I believe God breath blew breath in his to his lungs and gave him back to my family for the reason of uniting my family in love and keeping it that way and remembering that that's what it that's where we started and that was our foundation <clears throat> aha moment that was our foundation so somehow I have to steer it back that way but you know 
know, relationships are, are, are hard. Relationships are tricky. They're learning experiences and their heartache and their joy. And I've been in my relationship for 21 years. 21 years. Got together when I was 18. Got married when we, I was 28, I believe, when we got married. We had been together for eight years before we got married. And we'll be married for 13 years. Yeah, I think, I think this year will be 13. 2006 we got married so it's just it's just <coughs> excuse me a lot of things that I have intended on doing like planning and planning this trip I have I have things so I guess in these first 10 days is really what I'm going to be thinking about is my intentions for the rest of this 100 day reality challenge my challenge ends on September 17th 2019 so, buckle up, buckle up and ride the emotions with me, and I'm not, I, I, I'll explain more and more about myself, because this is what it is, it's a delve into yourself, it's a delve into me applying the law of attraction, what do I want to attract, what do I want to attract, and <clears throat> Not everything has to be physical. Not everything has to be material. You know what I mean? Inward. Alright. Finish my double. Because I did a double today. I did this morning's class. And I just got finished a class at my gym. My LA finished. And I'm headed home. Shower. Gonna relax. Get some to eat. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick a time that I'm going to be dropping these videos. This one is dropped so late because I work so late. And I took a nap earlier. As soon as I got home from my other job, I took a shower and I I, I was out. <clears throat> and I got up enough in enough time to just fiddle around for a minute and then I had to come right back out to go to this class. So I want to, I think I'll set the time for maybe 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock p.m. that I'll have my videos up, but I'm not really sure, but you'll see, you'll see. And these videos will have my intro clip in them, and that is it, that is it. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, day one in the books. I feel really good. The law of attraction was good to me today. I attracted, <clears throat> I just attracted goodness. My cycle class that I taught in Pottstown for the first time, I had about nine people in the class and they really loved it. They really told me that it's different. And there was one lady in there, an older lady that's an actual, she cycles outside and she was came to class because it was raining. And she said, really, really good class because she wanted to sweat and usually the she don't get that sweat like she does when she's outside she did so you know I, I feel really good about that I got some attracted some good positive feedback on 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 how an, I am as an instructor at a different location instead of with my regular riders so that was awesome and I need to give nation a shower so I, me, me and Nation talked about me sh giving him a shower and us making a video, but me blurring out his private parts just so that you can see how we have to give him a shower. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because, I mean, I can just explain how I have give him a shower it's it's simple as that i think that's what i'll do but let me know what you think because i mean i was going to blur out his private parts but just so that you can see the process of what i mean this is my life like i don't get to put bleepers over his 
private parts or anything like that. I This is what I have to see. Being a mother of a 16, almost 17-year-old child, he'd be 17 next month, and I have to physically give him a shower. It's... But I love that little bugger. So, you do what you got to do for your babies. All right, going on 13 minutes. 13 minutes of talking. Who's going to watch this video all the way in? If you got all the way through this video, put a thumbs up down in the comments and like this video. So, I know if you made it all the way, if you put a thumbs up down in the comments, the emoji, I want the emoji, I actually want the emoji to appear down in the comments to let me know that you saw this whole video too. You don't eat through, you don't even have to leave a comment, just leave that thumbs up. Come on. Come on, do it for you, girl. <sighs> All right. Almost home. Pieces. See you tomorrow.